Right, occasionally with the conditioning rings it is important to give them a clean, especially when they start to become contaminated and blocked. And very important if you are changing grades from a coarse grade to a fine grade. And we're going to show you the best way of cleaning these. So in between the grooves here we've got uh, contamination and uh, if a coarse grade has been used the coarse grade will be embedded in this surface here. So we're going to show the best way of cleaning these and to try and get back to a, a fresh control ring. So what we have here is a Kemet ultrasonic cleaning system. This particular unit is a 25 litre unit but the units can vary from much smaller up to much larger units and to much more robust. In this unit we use water, used at about 50-55 degrees with a uh, concentrated chemical. The concentrated chemical in this instance is Chemet Type A, which is an alkaline detergent which is good for general use on all types of steels and ferrous materials. This concentration is used in this particular system at 12 to 15 percent concentration and the temperature is at 50 to 55 degrees centigrade. So we're now going to put the control ring into the system here. You see the system here would take at least two of these rings but we're just going to show one for demonstration purposes. In the first instance I'm going to lay it down with the slots facing downwards. And then we're going to give this um, a process for 10 minutes. We're then going to turn the ring over and give it another process for another 10 minutes. So after a fairly short period of only a few minutes, when we lift it out, we find that at least 80% of the contamination has already disappeared. But we will leave it in for a full 10 minutes and then uh, actually turn it over. So the machine's now finished its 10 minute process uh, and uh, this is the control ring. This control ring was particularly badly contaminated with dried on contamination. With a less contaminated control ring, possibly five minutes would have been sufficient. What I'm going to do with this particular control ring, because it was badly contaminated, is just go around it now with a, uh, just a simple paintbrush and just brush out the grooves just to get rid of any large, loose contamination. The water being at 50 degrees is okay by hand. Oops, sorry. And what we're going to do now is put the control ring back in, but the other way up. So where it was up that way, it's now going to go up that way. it in and we start the process again. Okay so after the second process of 10 minutes the ring should now be clean. What we do is we just lift it out and take a look at it. and it looks fairly clean. So what we do now is we take it over and we rinse it. It's important to rinse the ring after the cleaning process 
what rinsing does is it takes off the concentrated detergent and will take away any loose contamination with it and give you a chance to just inspect the ring to make sure that it is perfectly clean. If you rinse it in warm water that also helps it to dry off fairly quickly. Once you have finished rinsing it then gives a good opportunity to inspect the condition of the ring and one important thing is this chamfer on the outside here which will gradually wear away. Once that chamfer disappears it's important that that is re-machined re on roughly at about 3 mm by 45 degrees. You can also look at the condition of the ring widthwise because that will very gradually wear down and when it gets down to the point where the grooves are starting to disappear then it's the time to replace the ring because not only has it lost its effectiveness it will have lost a lot of its weight as well for conditioning the plate.